Hello my unicorns! Welcome to my skincare diaries. Or is it bridal diaries now? Ah. <laughs> I had a long day so I'm so ready to start my night routine with lip and eye remover. I make sure to soak in the cotton pads fully and then wait for about 8 to 10 seconds to make sure it melts my eye makeup really well before wiping it off. And then I'm gonna gently remove the rust. For first cleansing, I'm using Claire's Gentle Black Fresh Cleansing Oil today. I love how light, fresh this oil feels compared to other cleansing oils. It has really simple ingredients like six nourishing oils including sunflower seed oil, grape seed oil, and jojoba seed oil that helps with blackheads as well. It has no fragrance and it's great to remove daily light makeup. And best part is that it doesn't leave skin with any film like an uncomfortable remaining feeling. And then I splash a little bit of water and then I massage again. As you can see right here, it's turning white, right? It's emulsifying really, really fast. And now I'm gonna go rinse it off, baby. Oh yeah. Yes! I'm in the shower naked, yes. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm really enjoying this. So I wanted to show you for my second cleanser today. I'm using Grovectin Skin Essentials Conditioning Cleanser. And this is my absolute favorite cleanser of all times. As y'all know, this is super gentle, low pH cleanser that I love using for both my face and body. It foams up really nicely. It has the soft bubbles and it removes all my makeup and sunscreen gently as a second cleanser. And it leaves my skin feeling so freaking soft and hydrated, which is my favorite part about the cleanser. It's suitable for all skin types and I've added this cleanser and Claire's fresh cleansing oil to my skincare box, which is open now. So I will leave the link in the description below. Okay, so now I'm looking fresh here. I'm feeling good, yes. Today, I wanted to show you my anti-aging favorite combo. I really have been loving these two these days. I'm using Beauty of Chosen's new arrival Chinseng Toner. As you guys know, I'm really into gentle anti-aging. But hold on, I'm running out. So I need another bottle. And look at this beautiful brown color, which is the natural color of the formulation. This toner has a hint of viscosity that feels so light, yet very nourishing at the same time. Chinseng is a really valuable ingredient and it's even written in the Korean Oriental Medicine book because it has a lot of health benefits as well as skincare benefits. Chinseng is also a great antioxidant that contains saponin which prevents pigmentation and wrinkles. So overall, after adding this toner into my routine, my skin tone looks so much brighter and youthful. And now I'm going to add one more layer with just my hands to boost dehydration. And I also appreciate the high concentration of Chinseng compound complex in this one. My skin looks looking good. I'm feeling good. And speaking of my passion for ginseng, this Beauty of Chosen Repair Serum Ginseng Plus Snail Mucin is what I'm using for my serum step today. It has a very nice, luxurious feeling and it does contain 63.36% of ginseng root water and 3% of snail secretion filtrate. The thing that I've noticed when I used these two combos together, I felt like they helped to clear and brighten my uneven skin tone and my skin just looks more plump and youthful and glowy. For the last step, I'm going to finish off with Godali Premier Cru the Precious Oil. It smells so good, but it does contain fragrance, so some people might not like that as well. A really good dupe without the synthetic fragrance is the Claire's Watery Oil Jab. And voila! Also, there's a giveaway with Beauty of Chosen, so please check description for details. Love you! Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog! Ooh, so you can see that like the um, skincare, body care, hair care section is having a sale. And then I have never seen this before, but it says if you purchase three, it's at um, 8,900 won. Ooh, so they have Iliyun Hu Cordata Soothing Masks. <gasps> you don't see this in Olive Young, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. <gasps> for three? Oh my gosh. Why are you tempting me? I'm not, I'm not here to buy skincare. I'm here to buy groceries. And then they have actually Mamongdu. 
한율, 아이오페, so on Isanox. So these are some of the brands that are more popular amongst like the you know, um, you know like late twenties or thirties for the mamas who shop like at E-Mart more often. Ah, 아빠, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Should I should I buy a sheet mask? Uh huh. For you? Uh huh. Yeah. Should I? Yeah. You think so? <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> they also have chaju, which is very similar to beauty, and they have everything from like clothing, um, like houseware things that you need, to kitchenware. And they even have um, food because Muji always had food or snacks and things. Oh, oh, that looks so good. Apple chip, and then they have pear chip. So this is tea, and it's dried um, tangerine, kulpita. So tangerine's actually the outer part, the outer part, and this is mu. Mu is really good, you guys. Um, radish is so good for digestion. Oh, it's so good. You seriously, sometimes when I have really bad digestion problems, I just drink straight. I juice the radish and I drink it. It's very like spicy almost, but it's so good for you. <gasps> oh, oh, cool. So this is um, poicha. I don't know what poicha is in English, but. Ooh, that looks interesting. Oof. So my dad really likes these like yanggengi. They're kind of like jellified uh, like beans, I would say. That has large amount of um, beans, 24.86%. Oh my gosh, that corner is making me really happy. But I'm gonna walk away. Well, I actually need new socks, especially ones to wear at home because it's getting so cold in Korea already. And um, we try not to turn the heater on too loud because it gets too dry. So we do have like humidifiers around the house, but literally Derek gets like bloody nose often during the winter time because it's so dry. So I think these are pretty good. It's like the soft, like cushiony type. Oh, I love it. it. Feels so good. Ooh, this is such a cute look. It's something like I would wear. <laughs> so cute. A little bit farmy, but I like it. It's so cute. So now we're at the veggie section. So we got a broccoli and Papa Cho's getting some sangchu. It is the season for persimmons. Kam, it's called kam in Korean. This is so good, but right now I don't think this is perfectly ripe. So I don't think we're gonna buy it this time, but Korean persimmons are bomb Like the hard, kind of hard ones are good. Even the soft ones are good. Everything's just so good. Oh my gosh, so we got a bunch of stuff. I got um, natto. Uh, this is shinramyeon, but it's non-fried noodles. And we got tangerines. So we got bananas. And one of the best things about Korea is also the po sweet potatoes. This is the pumpkin sweet potato. It is so, so sweet and so good. And we also got, hi daddy, uh, bibimyeon. This is one of my favorites. I added in our care package as well because I loved it so much. You guys know this is like the best cold noodles ever. And you add any kind of veggies you want with it with like boiled egg. Oh, I want it right now as I'm speaking. So this is so good. And of course I got chapagetti. These are things that I always stock up on when I do run out. Not the healthiest choice, but when you don't have it, it makes you sad. So <laughs> I got japagetti. This is so good. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe japagetti, you know, for someone that has never tried it, but it is so good. This is something that you have to try. This, it has like a very like, I would say oyster sauce ish like, like like kind of that warm like sweet type of thing but it tastes so good and for those of you that already love japagetti because i know that everybody loves it already if you add um onions like 
like if you um, get some oil and fry some onions first and then add it at, with the noodles, it's so good. Or even any kind of veggies you want. But more of cooked veggies is better with japagetti. And yeah, and then we got some apple. Apples for mama. And then what else did we get? Oof. Okay, so we got a bunch of like this cleaner thingy for the toilet. You know we got Ace because that's my favorite. Oh, there's so much unhealthy stuff that I got, but <laughs> my my dad's favorite, my my mom's favorite is Ace Crackers. This is so good with coffee, sweet coffee. Yeah, so we got that and it was on promotion. We got some tofu. Our family always has tofu or natto around the house. And we got some fish cakes and these are really easy you guys for those of you that are in Korea or for those of you that go to Korean markets like if you can they have fish cakes that comes with like the broth so sometimes when you're really busy and you need to cook up something really fast this is so easy yeah so we have chokba and this is kind of some type of pork that's marinated in this kind of like sweet sauce and usually chokba is really good but it's really heavy but I think my dad was craving for something like meaty so we got sangchu, Korean lettuce, we have cucumbers dang cucumbers are getting so expensive so this is 50% off so this is around like maybe a dollar and something but for three usually it's so expensive so yeah, vegetables and fruits are really expensive in Korea these days, especially these days. Then we got some chopsticks and spoon because my brother is actually moving back to... Oh my goodness, I have so much to tell you guys. So my brother is moving back to Korea. It's been a long time for him and he's moving back with his girlfriend. And I'm just so happy to be able to see my brother. And I know that my brother really, really missed Korea and his girlfriend also. And I've never met her before, but I'm so excited to meet my new sister-in-law. And I think she's going to be really cool. So yeah, I'm just really excited. And whoever, you know, my brother, you know, loves, I'm going to love anyways. You know, I know it. So, and then we got some cheese. And then we got some bagels. And then we got this. We got sunde. So this is the kan. Oh my gosh, I don't even, this is uh, literally liver, I think. Is it literally liver? <laughs> Hold on, I think it is liver, but this is really, really supposed to be healthier compared to other, you know, like meats. Uh, but kan, and then we have sunde. So my mom really loves sunde and kan. And it was so funny because she texted me, um, like, hey, can you get some kan and sunde? And then my dad and I looked at each other, we're like, oh my gosh, we already got it. So, you know, like those little things, like when you know what your family wants already, you know what I'm saying? So. Okay, so that is it and I'm getting so hungry. So I'm gonna hurry up and eat something and I have a meeting at uh, with Trent today. I have two meetings. So I'm gonna hurry up, eat, get ready and go to the meeting. So I'll see you guys at Wish. Hey guys, so this is Casper and we're at the Wish Trend studio. Eunice on he's like in the back eating away. Uh, she's chilling with Mehdi and she's eating bread. And I'm just appearing for a second to tell you guys that I'm actually starting a English channel. So yeah, I'm gonna comment in the comment section of this video. So it'd be awesome if you guys can come and subscribe. I'm gonna talk all about beauty and stuff like that, makeup. Yeah, daily life. Only I'm done. Okay. Mehdi, take, take it over. Okay. That YouTube channel is mine! <laughs> Hi everyone. If you want vlogs, you know, Eunice is wonderful, but sometimes you want that other. What am I saying? Just go to my channel. <laughs> you guys, we just finished. Oh my gosh, I'm so blue. Oh, this is so We're scary. We look like Oompa Loompas. <laughs> Hi. Maybe I'll make it a Halloween. Do you know about thing. the Strumpf? 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 Strumpf. The I ump? Don't... Yeah, the blue, the blue guys, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the, the shows? The but Las Vegas shows? Smurfs! Smurfs. Oh my god, because no, in France, it's like 
Stumpf. Stumpfs. Yeah. Oh, Smurfs are Stumpfs. Yeah. They sound much sexier in French. So, yeah, the Smurfs basically were Smurfs. <laughs> Stumpfs. How are you doing, guys? You guys, we just finished the live. Yeah. It took us about an hour and a half, I believe. Yeah, yeah. 10 year anniversary. Can yes. you believe it? Yeah, so can't believe it. We had so much fun. All the participants were amazing, and our staffs were amazing. So, yeah. Yes, this is mad the whole props. Team making us look good. Yes, making mad props. sure that everything is going smoothly. And always fun to film with this one right here. Oh. Always, he always has my back. So. She tell me everything I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> always has my back. So. <laughs> so guys, we are going to film a little bit more. Uh, we have certain clips that we do have to finish. And then I think we're gonna go to lunch and then I have to head back home to work, so. I caught this one in action. <laughs> Okay, to be honest, TMI in the women's bathroom. Yeah, the men's bathroom don't have mirrors. Yeah, cars. yeah. So. And we can use it right now, it's just us, so. Yeah. You guys, please comment below on which video we should do together. Because we want to do a yeah. collab video, so yeah. yeah. To be honest, anything will be fun. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I would love to have you on my channel again. Yeah, I'd be honored. Ah! Well, what are you using? It is free. It's free. It's Ah, free. Yeah, yeah it's free. Yeah, it's free. There's no like like white cast. Yeah, thing. it's called Extreme UV Protection yeah. Stick SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. There's fragrance for those who don't like it. Oh. But for me, like I like I said, I don't really have sensitive skin or I don't really care about fragrance. Right, but right. I love it. Oh. Like very comfortable. Yeah. My favorite sun sticks like the um, AHC one. Or Do you like it? I like it. I don't like it. You don't like it? I love which one? Which color? Uh, the, the blue, blue one? one. I love it. Oh. I love it. Really? I don't like the, the feeling on my skin. Ah, you know, I, see. I don't have like anything specific against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like just how it feels. Like after the, the yeah, feeling. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Really? Yeah, I like that one and I like the A uh, Abib one. Abib, I have yet to I have yet to try anything from them. Ah, it's really good. Their yeah. sheet masks are the best. One day and when then... I'm gonna go over to your house. Oh, I have a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I have a lot. I, um, I like how I just decided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna be skincare shopping for y'all. Okay, oh, good, okay. good. Oh. Eunice, you look so glamorous today. <laughs> Show us how it's done. As Mehdi said, this is a Zoom spirit. <laughs> We're off to lunch. And see how sunny it is? But I reapplied sunscreen, so I'm good. How are you, my unicorns? I'm just popping in here to give you an update of the wedding. I wanted to let you know that the wedding is on May 2nd and 12, exactly 12, 10 p.m. Lunch time. Um, and of course, I'm gonna still be inviting my unicorns and we're gonna be doing a live streaming. Um, and I personally wanted to invite my uh, some of my unicorns that are in located in Korea that can come out and hang out with us and stuff. But right now we are at level two in Korea, which means that you could invite maximum of only hundred people. And when you're taking pictures, you have to everybody has to wear masks. And I don't think people eat like I think when you hit level two, everyone just like leaves, and then um, the bride and the groom like provides a small gift and stuff and then I think I think in level two nobody wants to take off their masks and eat you know even though our wedding venue they do have like these thingy majigis where they separate everyone like this plastic huge thing uh, and the venue is huge um, so that everybody be can be sitting really far away from each other still if we do go to level two there's a lot of things that we do have to reconsider so I just wanted to pop in here and give you an update of that. And we, I'm not as worried, uh, but as I'm talking about it now, I'm kind of worried because there's, we were expecting about like 250 people to come, but uh, we don't know what's gonna happen. And that is one of the things about the situation. You just don't know what's gonna happen and being safe is the best way, you know what I'm saying? So of course I'm gonna have the live streaming but I think there may be a chance that I won't be able to invite my unicorns um, 
in Korea. So I'm a little bit sad about that, but let's not panic. Let's not get too, you know, mushy and stuff. Hold on. Let's not worry too much because we do have until May and it is only um, still November 30th today. So let's not worry too much about that. Uh, but yes, I did want to give you an update on that. And um, there was actually a venue that I really liked before called um, Stage 28. Uh, I think I did mention this. It was like an art outdoor garden, which I thought was beautiful. So I did want to kind of show you a clip of that place that we were looking at as well. We are at the second location now. This place is a place that looked so beautiful in all the photos. So I really wanted to visit this venue. Such a pretty space, huh? Mm. This is what it's going to look like. Stairs? Careful. But at the end, that venue was way more um, expensive. It was three times more expensive than my venue right now. Literally three times. And uh, one other thing was the transportation. Um, in Korea, a lot of people don't have cars or they don't really, even if they do have it, they don't really like going to places with cars. It's mostly we take the public uh, transportation or even cabs because everything's like so perfect. Uh, like perfectly like easy to do and everything's so cheap so one of the things is um public transportation how the location of the wedding was was very important too because for the guests to come very comfortably especially for our parents and things like that and since my boyfriend's um side is from Daejeon which is not in Seoul uh the main city so there's a lot of like different complications but that's why overall, uh, we did decide to um, do it in this hall. So uh, this one is called Seoul Wedding Tower, I believe. And it's two minutes away from my house. And the food is really good. And the, there's only one wedding hall, like, at the moment. So I didn't want a hall where there was, like, five halls and then there was, like, a wedding at the same time. Because then it's, like, I don't know who's who. You know, and it's like, it's too chaotic. So that's one of the parts that I didn't want. But I think this place was just perfect for the location, the food. And I did want an outdoor wedding. But I think this will just like suit everything that right now that we can definitely uh, afford and things like that. So I think this was the wisest choice. <clears throat> and I also have a clip of when we first went because... I just wanted to document every moment to make sure that I share with you the experience. So let's check out that clip. So we are off to go see a venue for one of the wedding places. And it is literally two minutes away from our house. So yeah, and my boyfriend knows the, I guess, owner or like some of the co-workers that work there as well. So that's always a plus. Hi, Unicorn. Hello seeing the wedding hall indoors so we're kind of excited about that as well just curious to see what the differences are I will be updating you guys more. Of course, we're gonna go church shopping. I'm so excited. I did make the reservations for one place for sure. And then there's another place um, that uh, supposedly they don't allow filming, but they saw my vlogs uh, when we were talking together, when, when we were looking at, you know, the Instagram accounts and stuff, and they loved it. And then they sent me a DM. 
And they said we don't allow actually um, people to film, but you guys can come and film if you want. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna be taking you guys with me, of course, while I dress shop. And I think the reason why they don't allow people to film, I heard, or take pictures at the, at the first time, is because I think they're afraid that people might steal the designs and stuff. In the beginning, I was like, why wouldn't you let the bride take pictures? But I guess they do have all of these like reasons of people stealing designs and stuff. That was kind of interesting to know. But any Kelsey's loves. So hope you guys enjoyed the little update for this. I, I still need to call it like uni bride series or, you know, I don't know if it's skincare diaries anymore right <laughs> or is it gonna become vlogmas i don't know yet but hope you guys are enjoying uh, my vlogs and uh, right now i think some people might be curious i am using the um i'm from mugworth sheet mask just finished off by showing you my bloated face i like doing sheet masks in the morning too because look look at my voice it is the morning you can clearly tell <clears throat> But my face does get swollen sometimes, so I like giving hydration, you know? And when I sheet mask in the morning, when I do have the time, <clears throat> I feel like I kind of like put an armor on. I, I said this before in my video, but I feel like I kind of protect it, you know? There's that hydration layer and that protective layer so that my skin can be strong throughout the whole day. So I actually, when you do have the time to do so, it's nice to put on, like do sheet masks in the daytime too. And you know, sometimes makeup goes on really well. So any cowsies, love you. And let's move on to the rest of the vlog. This girl, <laughs> ready protect. with her, <laughs> must protect with her sun umbrella. <laughs> the middle, <laughs> the middle of winter. Oh, there's so much sun today. <laughs> We're on our way to eat Miji container. Yes, I haven't had that for like ages. Yeah, literally like three years. <laughs> me too, me too. She's Holy. hangry right now. Hungry. Oh, I'm hangry. Yeah, Claudia and oh, actually, I don't know many that well, uh, but Claudia, you better like run. hurry up. Get your ass over here. I'm she's, hungry. She's hangry right I'm now. Hangry. I get hangry really easy. Oh, I'm same, same. <laughs> Hi! Hi! How are you? I'm sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. We've always the suck. Sit here. It's their first time meeting Hi, us. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 Oh, that Hi. awkward. Hi. I'm good. Hi. Oh, really? <laughs> They're getting to know each other. Yeah. Awkward. It's Ten not minutes. That awkward. No, it's not. Ah. Surprisingly. Yeah, surprisingly. <laughs> When we first met too, it was like awkward. No, no. It, it felt like we've known each other for a long oh. ass time. But it was thanks to you though, because you know how when you go into like a new place, mm -hmm. it's kind of up to the people who are already there yeah. to make yeah, you comfortable yeah, 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 and stuff. Yeah. It's not like I could just come and be like, hey girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he was so nice because he was like, oh, okay, okay, like can I get Eunice's number? He asked the producer to uh -huh. say hello first oh. through cacao. So that made me feel more comfortable. Melody. Oh, and after 10 minutes, I was like, my son. <laughs> got a bunch of new products from look fantastic and they're having a huge huge black friday and cyber monday promotion and it's gonna be until december 3rd i believe so i'll link everything in the description below so please do check it out so these are some of the products that i chose because i really wanted to actually try these so i'll tell you guys one by one let's go let's go 
Okay, so I got uh, the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. This removes makeup so gently and I love the way it smells and how it feels on my skin. And this is like, I think a lot of people's favorite already. And um, there are a lot of good uh, cleansing balms out there, but I think this is one of my favorites. So I did want to stock up again on uh, the pharmacy one. And then I got a dun -dun -dun -dun. I got some products from Yuserin. I don't know what, how you pronounce it in English, but I know uh, maybe it's like Yuserin, right? Uh, I got the Hyaluron uh, Filler. This is a really good anti-aging cream and it's really popular. They do market this one and um, another, uh, let me try to find that one because I have it right here. Another cream from Yusei, they market that a lot. Oh, here it is. So this one. So this one's really popular also in um, Korean Olive Young as well offline. So I wanted to try this one because I heard this removes dead skin cells gently. Uh, and then it's really good for dry skin. And I also wanted to use this one for anti-aging uh, purposes for especially the winter time. So yes, I'm going to try these babies out. And I also got uh, two new uh, removers. I always use the Bifesta one. I feel like it's a great price and it removes everything really gently. But with cleansing balms and with cleansing oils, I still use um, lip and eye removers. So I think they're like the most effective and they do it the fastest um, to remove like eye, uh, you know, waterproof makeup and eye makeup and lip makeup, like lip tints as well so yeah i wanted to try new um lip and eye removers so this is called elemis i don't know if that's pronounced right but i wanted to try a lot of products from elemis actually uh but they are a little bit on the pricier side and look fantastic they do have a lot of the high-end brands so i did want to try it and use it in once again the Dermato Clean. This is for sensitive skin. So I, that's me, sensitive skin type, reactive skin right here. So I'm excited to try the eye uh, and lip makeup remover from uh, with these two. And then I wanted to try this from Kodali. I love their Premier, uh, Premier Multi Oil. I really like that one and I like their mist as well. So I wanted to try this cleanser. Um, this is in like a bubble format, so it's really easy to use. This kind of reminded me a lot of the Claire's Rich Moist uh, Foam Cleanser. But yeah, can't wait to try this one and see how it works on my skin because I'm super picky with my cleansers. But yes, this is something that was on my wish list for a long time. And this was something that was on my wish list too. So this one is really popular in Korea. I got to know about this through um, Sue. So thank you, Sue. Uh, she said that in Korea, a lot of makeup artists, they do like promotional sales for this one because this is supposed to be perfect like for your base. So this is like a cream that's created for that perfect base uh, for your base makeup to go on smoothly. So I wanted to try this. They do sell this in Korea um, offline at Olive Young. Uh, but yeah, I did want to try this. And this is um, also for children as well. So uh, all family members can use this one. This can be used for your face and your body. So I wanted to try this as well. So I got these two. And then I got, um, I'm like really, really big on lip products these days because my lips are definitely getting more chapped and I want to continue to keep them plumped and hydrated. So this is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. You guys know that they're very well known for their like nourishing um, products. So I did want to go back to their lip balm. I have tried this many times, uh, but yes, I missed it. So I'm, I wanted to go back and I don't have any um, lip balms that has SPF. So I'm kind of excited to uh, use this as well because it does has SPF 20 PA++. And then we're going to move on to this one. Now, oh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, estedum, estedum, estederm. I don't know, this is also from, like, it's a French company, right? Like, originally. And I remember when this first came into Korea, they opened at C-Core. I still remember, it was Derek and I, we were dating, like, back then. We were still, like, 
lovey-dovey, like, you know, in the beginning stages of love. But anyways, I remember the, um, they were having this uh, event, uh, the launching event. She sat me down and she helped me to try this buffing like mask. This helps to remove that skin cells really well and it's supposed to be really good to unclog pores. And I haven't, I've only used samples of this and it was so good. So I've always wanted to get like an actual product. So I cannot wait until I try this. And I can't recall if it was kind of strong or not. So I will try and let you guys know if it's good for me or not. And dun, 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 I got this from Elemis. I did want to try some products from this brand. So I'm very excited to try this baby out and I'll let you guys know how it went. Okay. And then we're going to finish off with the last product. Now, this is the very first time that I've actually tried a full-sized product from, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Dr. Hauska? Hauski? Hauska? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, can someone help me out with this one, please? Yes, but I wanted to try some of their products because I've seen really good reviews. And this is a clarifying toner. So it's supposed to be really good for um, acne prone skin or um, skin with oily skin or with um, concerns of excessive sebum. And um, this is supposed to be used as like a toner, but it's in a mist format. So I really wanted to try this too. So I'm so excited that I got all of these goodies and I will make sure to share my review. I will start filming my Vlogmas from tomorrow, December 1st. So I'm so excited. So hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned in for Vlogmas too, okay? I love you guys. Bye!